All right, guys, let's do this live. It's Adrian, the founder of Hustle Tea. We're about to uh, do this little interview with my good friend, uh, Lee, and he's the founder of Eats, which is a up-and-coming food delivery service, so stay tuned. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm at, uh, I'm at Starbucks right now. Just, uh, I'm super excited for this. All right, we got one person. How you doing, man? We're about to get this live going. We got Bosco Cuts in the building. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Thank you for joining. We're about to interview a the founder of Eats. He's a food delivery service in the Apple Valley. And pretty soon this year, he's going to try to expand and be in all different states. It's going to be amazing. Yep, dude, I'm rocking the Vicious family. You know, if you guys are from the Bay Area, you know, support my boy Bosco. Get this ambitious family. You know, I wore this stuff till it faded. So I love this hat. I mean, it's like my favorite dad hat. I need some more. I need some Warriors color ones, some brown ones, you know? Hell yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What's up? Poka Money, how you doing? We got Fit Money Management. Yeah, we're about to do, uh, it's, it's supposed to be a podcast, but it's kind of like a video. So, hell yeah. Let me see if I can call my boy up. Um, we're live with... One second, let me go give him a call. Real quick. All right, guys, I had to. Uh, sorry about that. I had to give him a call real quick because he's like kind of new to social media. So he's about to hop on the live, and then I'm gonna invite him on. If you guys have any questions about business or whatever, ask it right now because we. Oh, eat this. It's gonna be big. Awesome. All right, we're yes, sir. on. Yes, sir. Welcome. What's up? How you doing, What's Lee? What's going on, Adrian? How are you doing, brother? We're doing amazing, man. It's a great day. And ever podcast slash video. And uh, you want to just introduce yourself? Introduce yourself to everybody? Definitely. Hello, uh, social media world. Uh, my name is Sir Lexus Lee. I'm the founder and CEO of Eats and Eats.com. I'm a local food delivery service here in the high desert, California. And I'm actually on the water right now that Adrian was able to catch me on, uh, which is a little interesting. But we're here at Apollo Burger in Victorville on 7th Street. If you've never been here, it's definitely a must try. You know, everyone in the world definitely stops by this joint, Apollo Burger. They make insane burgers. I'm here right now, Adrian. So let's go on inside, man. And uh, actually, I got to pick up this. Oh, so you're doing the food delivery as we're doing this live? Yes, sir. Oh, he's on the hustle, guys. He's doing this. Uh, he's doing his job while we're on the live. Let's go. Awesome, awesome, man. So I'm here. I'm here, man. So uh, I'll just go on and flip it around so you can see where we're at, man. Yeah, where, where, where are we? We're at we're at Apollo Burger, man. This Apollo, is Apollo Burger. Burger. Okay. This is in wow. Victorville, California. They make amazing burgers here. If, like I say, if you've ever, ever wanted to try a burger, oh, there we go. That's us right there, man. That's us, the delivery service. But if you've never been here, here at Apollo Burger, man, it's these burgers are insane. Insane. We're, we're live right now. We're on an order right now. So we're going to go on and uh, take care of this order. But what's going on, Adrian? Oh uh, man, I got, um, let me see, let me see who's on right now, we got two people on, you got Hello, This sis. Is Yulin on, let me see if I can wave to her, a wave to her, awesome, so um, let's just get started with the first question, like what is your business and uh, why did you start it? Uh, basically, uh, we're, we're, just a, we're just a business, we're a local business. Uh, and we, we basically just deliver, man. We're a food delivery service. We work with a lot of the local restaurants, a lot of the big names too as well as on the corporate sides. And uh, we, just, uh, we just expand uh, their business as well as it expands our business. And we, uh, we uh, get, get the products to the, uh, to, the, to the members, to the customers that order with us on our website. Awesome, man. So, if anyone says to you, like, oh, how come you don't do DoorDash, how come you don't do Uber Eats, how come you don't use Postmates, 
What is your response to that? Uh, well, say that one more time. What makes you different? What What makes you different than your competitors? You know what? Those are, all those companies are great companies. Uh, but the fact that you know we're a true local business, uh, we we just find that we're able to um, just be able to take care of our local community. And, um, and with that being said, we just uh, we're just able to deliver. And uh, that's one of the main the main key parts to our to our industry and what we do in delivery. Awesome, man. Yeah, if you guys don't know, the, how I met Lee was he actually reached out to me on Instagram. And uh, he was really like, he really saw what I was doing and he was inspired by it. And he basically just told me to give him a call. And uh, I gave him a call and he talked to me on the phone and he was so positive, so much energy. And I was like, huh, why is this guy so nice to me? Like, what, do you, what does he want from me? But at the end of the day, like, as I got to know him, like, I found out what he does. Like, he's doing this food delivery service. He's doing his own business. And it's kind of like that law of attraction. Like, the energy you put out there, you attract that. And uh, me and Lee, we just both vibe. We both understand each other. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've known each other for about two years now. Yes, but, um, you know, we just, we're just trying to keep what Lee, the biggest thing Lee taught me is in business, it's all about the relationships. Yes, so, you know, sometimes it's not about the money. It's just about connecting with people. And, you know, sometimes it's just giving out and not expecting anything in return. That's right. You know? That's right. That's right. And that's, that's a key point, man. That's a great point, Adrian. You know, it's one of those things, man, that, uh, you know, the relationships are worth more than, than anything, man. And, and if you can build those awesome relationships, you know, man, those things go, those relationships go farther than anything else, man. You know? Definitely. So so what did the person order? What did the person They ordered um, little Kim fries, man. They're, they're only available oh. here at Apollo Burger, nowhere else in the world. This is this is the joint that you know they specialize in, in just amazing you know burgers um, and you just have to try it. If you've never tried it, you never you gotta try it. You know what I mean? Um, but that's where we are, man. But it, but it is, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Like I saw you posting their pictures, and like all the burgers look like fire. Yeah. Like the social media, they got it down. Yeah, man. It's, so. It's definitely insane, man. You know. Okay. Yeah, what's up, Kyrie? Thanks for joining the live, man. Uh, I'm with uh, Lee, the founder of Eats, and we're about to get into this, but he's uh, right now he's on a delivery right now, and he's about to deliver uh, to this local business called uh, Apollo Burger. So, you know, what makes his, what makes his business different is that he focuses on the local businesses. It's not any, it's, you guys will see as, as this develops, but I mean, it's about to be, it's about to blow up. So we're just on that path, you know? Yeah, I'm just, Adrian, I don't wanna get broken. Wow, man, look at all these awards. All these awards, man, that they win for wow. having outstanding burgers. You know, Dang. it's amazing. You know, for many, many years, man, and they've been here for a long time. And the team here, man, they, they, they work hard, man, in what they do. You know, and it's just one of those things, man, that, like I say, oh, there's... Oh, your Eats? I saw your you Eats saw, up you there, saw bro. It up there? That's awesome. I saw it. Okay. okay. That's awesome. We're here, man. We're here. But other than that... Can you zoom in on the burger? You can zoom in. Just kind of, like, pinch this, like, open your fingers like this, and you can zoom okay. in. Okay. Let me... I'll... I'll, I'll uh, I, mean, I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, me, oh, yeah. You can do... See how I can zoom in? Close up you can zoom in. Right here. Let me see if... Oh, sis, okay. Sis, can we get a close-up of one of the burgers? He's, he's putting you guys on game. He's showing what Apollo Burger makes. This is what they do. All righty. So this Ooh. is basically what burger is this? Is? What, what do we have here? The classic burger with bacon, and we have the zucchini fries that come with it. Wow. Man, look at that, man. It's, uh, man, we need this in Las Vegas in the Bay Area, like, for real. You definitely do need it. All right. Hey, zoom into that burger. You got to zoom into that burger. Oh, okay. It's you all good. It, man. Well, they, they got to keep it moving, man, because, you know, it, it's, it's a little sneak peek. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things, man. You definitely just got to, if you're ever in the high desert, California, man, you got to just come out and just, just try it. Like, let's look at our man right here. He's going to swamp into this burger right here. Oh, yeah, you know. Check, check this out, man. What's your name, brother? Hey. Julio. Yo, Julio. We're on uh, Instagram Live, man. What burger you got there, Julio? Bombay. So Bombay, can we take a little look at it just to see show the Instagram? Oh, that looks fire. That looks fire. That. What do you think about Apollo Burger, man? Awesome. Awesome. Is it, it's one of those things. It's a must try. Would you recommend it? 
All righty, all righty. Thank you, Julio. We appreciate you, brother. We're heading, we're heading now. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Christy? Christy? Yeah, man. I have a lot of, like, friends joining, so awesome. Awesome, awesome man. So, uh, so, yeah, man, that's that's basically Apollo Burger. You know, that's a delivery service. You go to our website. We're at uh, eat-s.com. That's eats.com. Uh, we basically deliver the entire high desert, and uh, you can check it out, you know, as well as uh, as our man Hustle T. If you're up in Vegas, you got to definitely touch down with Hustle T. Uh, our, our man, Adrian, you know, he makes the Hustle T brand there from to be named. He's all on his own, you know what I mean? As a, as a, as a, as a young CEO, you know, and our hat goes off to him for everything that he's done. If you haven't looked at and checked out our man Hustle T, look at his Instagram page, man. Look how much traffic he does. Just, 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 just see his hustle, and and that's what what really attracted me to him, man. Was watching his hustle, and uh, and likewise, you know, is is one of those things, man. Watching um, young entrepreneurs, you know, do our thing. It's a process, you know. But at the same time, as long as you just do it, and uh, it'll all pay off, pay off at the end, man. It'll all make sense, Adrian. Definitely, man. I'm really looking forward to this year. We're two months into 2020, and, like, super excited. My boy Jackson just joined. This man would always support me and buy my tea and gallons. Like, he was one of the first people. (laughs) Yep. We got So Too Shady. Thank you for joining, man. Let's have So Too Shady. Yeah. Is the real Slim Shady? Please stand up. (laughs) It's all, good. all right, man. We're going to go with the next question, man. Can you give us a little success story that you had within your business, something that you're proud of? You know, honestly, Adrian, I would say a success story, you know, is really, man, was order and people ordering with us. You know what I mean? What's happening? You know, just uh, just ordering. We appreciate every every member that chooses to, uh, to use our service. To, to deliver, deliver, you know, food, deliver, you know, we deliver pretty much anything. And um, the success is, you know, being able to, to provide a, a, a positive a, a service to the community in that way. And, and that's a true success. You know, um, no one has to use our service, man. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that we just humbled and we appreciate everybody that subscribes to what we do. And, and that's really kind of like the answer to that question, man, you know. Awesome, dude. I love what you're doing, man. Like, the way you treat me and the way you treat other people, like, it's a, definitely your role model to me. And uh, it's just in business, that business doesn't have to be cutthroat, trade secrets. We can collaborate and get bigger. There's enough, there's enough, uh, there's enough success for everybody. Of course. You know? There's enough out there for everybody, man. All you got to do is just go out there and do it, man. Believe in yourself in that sense, you know, and just apply yourself. The biggest step is just, is just first taking that, that, that first step. And that's all really, really counts, man, you know, at the end of the day. Definitely. All right. So the next question is, can you tell us a little, like, a little bit of a struggle that you had to go through or like a failure that really taught you something in business? You know, what's like the first thing that came to your mind, like something that you really struggled with, but you overcame kind of. You know what? It was just being able to. Or just the, any type of failure, anything. Any, any failure? Wow. Um, you know, I think failure, if you look at it as failure, then it, it will be just that. But if you uh, learning experience as something that's edifying to, to what you're doing and the process of, of what you're doing, you know, in that, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's necessarily considered a failure because you're learning from that, that chapter or that opportunity, whatever the case may be. So when you, when you go through something like that, I think, you know, realistically, man, you just got to take the hit, you know, take the hit, but at the same time, you know, up, 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 uh, absorb it, but then react to it. You know, and, 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 and that reaction is where is where the true character comes into play. What you do, it's not what you do when you when you get what you do to that to that reaction. And that's that's you know, and, and like I say, as far as that that, that, that question is really just that in itself. It's all how you look at it, man. But but at the end of the day, it's a part of the process, man. You know what I mean? You just gotta let it let it let it go. Dude, I love that man. We have a new person I joined, Mama, Mama MX2. Thank you for joining. Hello, Mama. Uh, I'm MX2. A- yep. 
Uh, I'm Adrian, and this is Lee, the founder of Eats, and we're just kind of doing a little interview. You know, if you missed it, we're going to post it on our store. You can still watch it. But, uh, yeah, it's a little windy here, so don't mind that. But, yeah, thank you for that answer, man. That was really good. It's, it's how you react to the failure that matters. If you consider it a failure, that's all it's going to yes, be. Sir. So that's a big thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. What was your first job ever? Well, I, uh, my first job was... Uh... Pulling weeds, man. Pulling weeds. Pulling weeds. You know, pulling weeds and cutting ground, you know, for about five bucks, you know. And, uh, and you know, it, it was interesting, man. It was actually uh, my grandmother, man. She uh, let me know, you know, you know, that, that if, you know, if you pull these weeds, you know what I mean, I'll give you a couple of quarters. And at that time, man, there was a, uh, a very popular game called Street Fighter, you know, and, uh, the minute that I heard about if I pulled these weeds, you know what I mean, that I was going to be able to uh, to make a, a, a few cents out of it, man. So I was on it, man. And, but, but luckily, uh, if I would have saved those quarters that I put in the Street Fighter at the time, man, it'd be a different, it's a different situation. But um, but that that was that was kind of like my first my first job, man. And I realized that, that was a responsibility that I had to keep up, you know. And then from that, it just, it just went from there. Okay. Okay. I like that. Um, what businesses inspire you? Man, every business inspires me, man. You know, I would say um, any any business that's that's in existence. You know, anything, any anyone that is 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 doing what they love to do. You know what I mean? Is is, is an inspiration uh, to me in that way. You know, if it comes across my eye, you know, comes across across to me. Um, you know, it stands out as something that uh, that I get inspired from it just in general, man. You know, so I, I would say everybody has since inspires me. I have a little bit of everything that I've seen, you know what I mean, or been a part of is what I'm what I'm doing today. You know what I mean? It's just, just one step in stone in that process of the journey. What the past was that brought me to this point, and then what we're doing today is gonna is gonna bring us to the future. Love that, man. Every business you can learn something from. Yes, sir. You can learn, always. You never stop learning. Definitely. You never stop learning, boss. Definitely. Even if you are if you guys are in college right now, you know, when you get out of college, you're still going to be learning. Yes, sir. You just got to keep pushing, yes, sir. you know? All right. Um, do you have any book recommendations that help you develop the mindset and strengthen what you do? Wow. Like, just kind of change your perspective on life, you know? So for the people out there that love to read and, you know, and they, and they want to pursue something like this. Well, I guess, you know, it goes along with the inspiration, man. You know, it goes back to that question. You know, there's so much inspirational body of work. Out there, but, uh, you know, one of the key for me uh, as a believer uh, in Jesus Christ, you know, the Bible to me is, is one of the, the key elements of the book of life. Um, you know, that if you want to know, you know, what yesterday was and what today is and what the future is going to be it's written in his word man and personal opinion you know and my experience man um you know that's that's really who i lean to man my lord and savior jesus christ man god bless you man amen amen, amen. all right I mean, do you have a favorite Bible verse that keeps you going? My yes. favorite is, I can, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens you know, me. I'm not even Christian. You know what? You know what I'm saying? But, that, that's, you know, yeah. That, that's kind of a, that's a, that's a, that's one that sums it up, sums it all up, man. But, uh, you know, the other key one is, there's nothing new under the sun. You know what I mean? What is today has always been. And, and as long as you, you know, you remember that whatever you're going through in life, you know, someone else has already been through that, and you can learn from that, and you that to push you to or get to that, that next step in life. Just know that what you what you see today is permanent. It's temporary, man. It's temporary. And as long as you just temporary. keep going, keep going, and, and, and keep, keep keep your head up, you know what I mean, in that way, and uh, that thing will work out. I love that, man. Everything, everything is not new under the sun, yeah, right? Well, every, every, yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the yeah. sun. It's a, the light has already been on it. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly. So all you have to do is just do it. You know what I mean? You can whatever it is, up or down, in and out. You know, it's already someone has already been 
in that in that shoe already. So all you have to do is just you know um, apply yourself and 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 figure out what what it took for that individual or that situation to exist, and uh, just research it, man. Come to you. You know what I mean? All right, man. Um, this is a pretty good one. Um, what are some of your daily habits that make you the hustler you are today? Because, like, I know behind every successful person, there's great habits and discipline. What is some stuff that you do, like your daily routine? Man, the daily routine, man, is uh, like, what time do you wake up? Like, what do you do? Like, oh, put us on game, man. You know, it's one of those things, man. You know, What's up, MTZ Fat Boy? Someone just joined, MTZ Fat Boy. What's happening? Welcome to the live. What's happening? It's uh, Hustle T, the founder of Hustle T, and the founder of Eats Delivery Service. Two big companies on the come up, and we're grateful for you guys to join this, our first ever podcast, video, live stream interview, you know, because what we're going to do in the future is we're going to be interviewing business owners, and we're going to inspire you guys that, you know, at the end of the day, this is our slogan that we came up with. We're just regular guys doing big things. We're just regular people doing big things. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. And, and your question was, one more time, Adrian, one more time, boss. My question was, what are your daily habits? Because I know a business owner compared to someone who just works a regular job, you're going to have totally different mindsets and habits. What is your daily uh, routine and habit man, my daily, that you develop? Man, you know, really, really listening to daily routine, man, is that um, is, is really just, uh, man, it's, it's, it's just staying on, on top of the topics. You know, staying on top of what's going on in the world, man, and also what's going on in your, in your, in your, in your, in your circle. You know, in your industry. You know, being able to uh, keep yourself uh, in the know at the same time, being able to be creative in your own way. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Is one of those things. You know, a lot of times, man. You know, it'll go days, man. Uh, days where, where. You know, you kind of not so much disconnect, but you you're really focused on 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 the goal that's that's at hand and what's in front of you, and being able to okay. really you know sharpen you know that 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 approach or that goal or whatever that is. That's that's really kind of um one of the things that I do. You know, I try to block out any of the noise. And yeah, man, really block. That's it. That's it. Just like that. <laughs> Watch out, Adrian. You know, block out that noise, man, and really just focus on on the task at hand, whatever that might be. Uh, if it's if it's um, you know returning a phone call, uh, returning an email, answering an email, uh, you know returning a business uh, call, or or, or or just in general, man, in life, you know whatever it is. Um, but uh, that, that's kind of the answer to that. Okay, for sure. Let's see. Was there ever a time you felt like just giving up your entire business, and what kept you pushing to not do it? Well, you know what? That's a great question, Adrian. I think that uh, being a, a young entrepreneur, um, you know, you always find yourself in a position where you're always thinking, you know, uh, how can you do better? And, and, and it's okay. you're doing enough. And uh, I don't know necessarily if the, if the question was, you know, if you want to kind of like throw in the towel or second guess what you're doing. No, because you'll find, Adrian, that no matter what's going on, you have to be your biggest fan. You have to be oh, your biggest okay. supporter in what you believe in. You know, exactly. Um, you know, you have, you have to be that, you know, because no one else is going to be able to be uh, in the physical. No one else is going to really be able to to support you and give you that that push and that support that you need um you know the way you need it outside of yourself in that way um you have to really support yourself and find find that comfort in knowing that even though it might look one way or it might seem one way that you're still on the path that you believe in you know what i mean and and continuing to regardless of what's going on in the outside world man still staying focused and uh and, 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 and reaching for that goal, man. I love that, man. I mean, the biggest thing for me is like, I would love feedback from everybody, but based off reading the book, Think and Grow Rich, yeah. they said opinions, everybody has opinions, yes, you know? And as like my Uncle Tom always said, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I know it's kind of random, but uh, I mean, the biggest thing is like, 
for me, what I've learned is you don't want to take opinions from someone that is not where you want to be in life, you know? You know, why would you take the opinion of someone that doesn't pay your bills? Why would you take the opinion of someone that doesn't even care about you, right? right? So I come to learn, this is the hardest one. Sometimes the opinions of your family members hurts the most and you want to take their advice just because they love you. Right. But they might not exactly have the right information because they are not where you want to be in life. And that's a very hard thing to take on because you know your parents and your family love you, but they're still not, they don't have the lifestyle that you want. Yes. So they can, you can only get as far as they've got. Right. So that's a tough one, but that's what I'm learning. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good answer. Like if somebody has the results that you want, then why would you listen to someone else that doesn't have the results that you want? Right, right. Well, you know, if I know how to make Thai tea, you would listen to the guy that knows how to make the Thai tea, right. not the guy who's on the internet that never made it before. Right, that's, you know? that's true. But at the same time, you know, um, you, just, you just remember what you're doing. Remember why you're doing that. You're touching the lives. True. Do you think you could go inside your car? It's a little windy. Yeah, definitely. Give me one second, man. Yeah, is it windy on my end? Is it windy for you or it's okay? Bad. It's all right. It's not too bad. Okay, because I'm here like, it's like, yeah, it's pretty loud. Yeah, man. All right, we're there, man. You with me? Yes, I'm with you. So basically, you were just saying like, yes, that's good advice as well, but don't forget the people that were there for you and care about you. Even though they're not where you want to be, they still care, you know? And you got to remember your... Something like that, you know, just, you gotta, yeah, yeah, you gotta, for me, I take everything with a grain of salt, you know? Oh, buffering, man. I'm here, boss. I'm here. All right, man, it was a little buffering right there. Yeah, no problem. I'm here, though. But yeah, with, with the grain of salt, man, you know, but you just keep doing, keep doing what you're doing, man. Definitely, man. I'm actually going to go inside because, like, it is kind of getting windy. Yes, sir. But yeah, I'm going to keep you on the live. I have just a couple more questions. Let's do it, man. You know, and, uh, man, dude, you're, like, amazing first guest, you know? <laughs> it's all good. Like, whoever's not here right now, they're sleep on us, but, you know, I'm going to let them see this for 24 hours, and, you know, I might post it on my page. We'll see. Yeah, you know, but there's a lot of there's a lot of gems in here. Definitely, man. You know, let's do it, man. Give give me one second, okay, Adrian? I'm gonna step off real quick. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, for sure. All right, guys. I'm going inside because it's a little windy. Hope you guys are having a great day, you know, just. No. <laughs> and now I'm at Starbucks. You got Bread's Barbershop. How you doing, man? You got Bread's Barbershop in the building. Shout out to Bread's Barbershop. Yeah, I'm up. All right, yes, sir, we're back man. on the live. Yes, sir. So we got Bread's. We got Bread's Barbershop. They're a barbershop in the Bay Area. They just joined. Yo, welcome for welcome to join us, barbershop. Thank you, thank you. All right, man. we're good to go. Okay, cool. Oh. Also, I'm just propping you up on the computer real quick. Hold up one second.
All right, guys, I'm going to give a little piece of advice to just the people watching out there. I don't like giving people advice because I don't like telling people what to do. But just based off my experience, um, just from what I learned from my friends and whatever, is that, you know, whenever in life you're facing like a resistance, you know, resistance is like an invisible force that you can't see, but you can feel. So let's say like I'm working out and I'm doing crunches and I feel that pain. That, that pain is telling me to stop. That pain is telling me not to move forward. That is resistance. But if you can break through that resistance, it's, it's better on the other side, you know? Resistance is kind of like a friendly reminder that you're on the right track. It's kind of like, it's bad, but it's also a blessing in disguise because if you're getting resistance, it's showing that you're on the right track to do something, you know? So it's the method that I, the metaphor I like using is like a rubber band, right? You pull on the rubber band, right? And it gets, it gets harder to pull as you're stretching it. And then when you get to the peak, it's the maximum resistance, right? And then when it finally breaks, you break through. So that's the same thing in life. It's like that rubber band. You're going to face resistance, but if you keep pulling, you keep pulling, it's going to break through. So that's just a little key advice I want to give you guys, you know? And, uh, yeah. So what do you think about that, Lee? I think, um, you know, that's, 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 a, you know, that's a great analogy. And I, I think, um, you know, with that resistance too, man, you know, you, you actually learn a, a lot of stuff within that, uh, with, within that friction. If, if that's what you want to kind of also consider it. It's one of those things where you could um, you actually use that as a, as a you know what I mean? You have a benefit yeah. from that by just turning that friction, you know, uh, around man as an advantage, whatever it is you're, you're, you're you must remember. Yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of breaking up, man. Oh, you're kind of breaking up. Can you hear me? Yeah, maybe it's the connection while driving, but okay. well, yeah, it's a, it's better now. Yeah, okay. it's better now. Well, well, I, well, what I was basically saying is that I think that you need that you need that opposition or you need that 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 resistance uh, in order to, to to sharpen to sharpen your tool, man. Whatever that is, man. You know, whatever tool it is, if it's if it's physically, you know, lifting weights, if it's mentally, you know, uh, edu you know educational, uh, business wise, you know, whatever the case may be, man. You know, that, that it's all edifying to the ultimate goal, man. Of what you know, and, you know, just just use that for for your for your uh, for your benefit. Love that, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. Um, what are some things you look forward to this 2020? Man, you know what? Um, With your business, life, you know, you don't have to say everything, but like just a couple things you're looking forward to that people should be excited about or you're excited about. You know what? Uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited to be doing something that uh, that I love doing. You know what I mean? That's that's a topic in itself. You know, sometimes we overlook. The, the, the small things in our lives that we, we, we tend to forget that what we're doing right now is major. You know what I mean? Like we can't overlook just being able to wake up in the morning, man. Just being able to, you know, to hug our parents or our children or our spouses or or, or, or our brothers and sisters, you know, whatever the case may be, just being able to be present at that time. <laughs> And uh, I, I just look forward, man, to to be able to uh, to just continue to to move forward, man, and just and just be and just be what it is that that that, that, that I am. You know what I mean? I can't be anybody else but myself. You know? And, I love that. You know? So what I try to do is just is just do it the best that I can, because that's the only thing that I can. Do. Definitely. Like a big thing, a takeaway for me is like these past three years of business for me, I'm going to be real. I was very delusional. Like I took that advice, fake it till you make it. And I was trying to be the CEO boss guy. I had my shit together. But what I come to realize is the more honest you are to yourself, the more authentic you are, at least in that moment, you may not know everything, but you do the best of your ability at that moment. That's going to open so many doors because you're not faking a personality. You're just being you. And you can finally, when you look back at that, you can really grow instead of just pretending you're growing. You know? But what, what keeps you going, though, Adrian? That would be a question. What keeps you going, man? What keeps me going? Man, honestly, family, man. Um, 
when I was in depression, what really got me out was my little sister. She's eight years old, and I'm gonna be real. I was 22 at the time, and I was I was fat. I was getting fat. I was doing so much destructive behavior, such as like um, watching so much YouTube videos, eating unhealthy, not exercising, all kinds of really destructive behaviors, just because I didn't care anymore. But you know, I was tired of feeling like that, man. And I told myself, I don't want to be, I'm 22, I don't want to be 25 years old and be this fat kid living at home and a loser. And if my sister ever goes through this depression or anyone tries to mess with her, at least I could say, hey, I fought through it and I can help you get through it. So it was kind of that fear that if I didn't, if I, if I wasn't strong for her, if I wasn't strong for myself, there's no hope for her. And I, and I, I wanted to be that, that light for her. So that's, she was the one who got me out of depression. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what kept me going, honestly. And also another thing that got me going is being humble. Literally, I don't say I do everything, it's literally God. I, I prayed to God so much, I was like, dear God, please help me get out of this depression. Please give me the strength to get stronger. Please give me the strength to push away anything that is not for me. Please give me the intellect to, to sense, give me the energy to sense when something is not right and when I should walk away. You know, just keep me safe. Please keep my friend Lee. Please keep all my friends safe. You know, keep us on the right track to success and happiness. And, you know, that's pretty much what I, I make those prayers. And, you know, I always believe when you make a prayer, it goes up into the air and it, it does something. Yep. You, I don't know what it does, it's, but it's being sent out it, somewhere. It never comes no. back void, man. The prayers that go up, man, the blessings come down. You know what I mean? And you might not see that blessing today. It, 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 might, it might not be tomorrow, but just know, whatever goes down, that prayer that goes out never, never goes out full. And uh, that's the big man. But, I'm, but I, you know what? But I'm proud of, I'm proud of the fact that you know, at this point in time in your life, Adrian, you know, you were able to, uh, you were able to, 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 to identify that, to work through that, you know, and, and be able to be where you're at. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it, it, life can be hard, you know, but you, uh, just keep, you have to keep going, man, regardless of what you circumstances, what the situation is, whatever the environment might be. You gotta keep going because remember, man, you need to go. You're special. Thank you, Lee. You're special, man. That's real. You know, and I feel like, you know, everybody has something to offer to this world, you know. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you make a lot of money, a little money. The worst feeling that I fear is having everything and still being miserable. And I feel like that's the worst. And the main thing is as long as you're happy, you know, you have good health, that's 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 gold. That's all you need, you know. Uh, we got Slay Monroe just joined. Thanks for joining. How you doing, Celeste Monroe? Yeah. Thank you for joining us. I thought we didn't plan for this to be like this. Oh, <laughs> you know? Amanda, the ice copy of the double. Definitely. But yeah, man, up to the next question. Yes, sir. You know, do you have any life lessons that are not business-wise, some life lessons that you went through that you think it can help somebody? Something you went through, a life lesson that's helpful, that you can help someone else. What do you think? Man, there's so many life lessons, you know, Adrian. Uh, that's an awesome question too, man. Uh, you know, one thing, one thing, uh, I would say one of the life lessons was that, is that, uh, that you don't, you don't give up. You don't give up. That's like the most simple one. That's like what they always tell you, never give up. Give but up. keep going, my bad. Keep going. Because you never know, you never know what tomorrow may bring or that next second might bring. You know, a lot of people, you know, we go, we live in a, no pun intended, but we live in a fast food society where we all want the, 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 the right now. We want, we want, we want the fast, fast food right now. And, 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 and that's not necessarily a good thing. You know, sometimes it could take, it could take some time for you just to, it takes, it, it takes, you have to go through life. 
You know, take one step at a time, one second at a time. The fact that, you know, that we're here today, the fact that I'm here today, man, you're here today, man, it's for a reason. You know, because, you know, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. And what that reason is, we might not understand it at this point in time. You know, you might not see it, I might not see it, but the bigger picture, but it's the purpose. And we all have a purpose. And as long as you understand and you, and you understand that that you've got you gotta keep going, uh, because there's there's no other way. What are you gonna do? Just give up? What is that to do? Yep, and there was another like a uh, thing that popped up in my mind. I was talking to this guy and I asked him like, you know, about not giving up and he's like basically, you know, if you give up, you're gonna be at a stage of your life where there was a moment in time where you wish you could be where you are today. And if you give up, you're gonna be back in that same place. So it's a matter of knowing that, you know, and just kind of taking it in and appreciating where you are. Because sometimes we're so future driven, we're so past driven that we forget that we have to live in the now and appreciate where we are. Exactly. You know? I think that's a great point, man. You know, yes, you like the questions you asked me earlier. Yes, you, you know, today is today. But whatever works yesterday helps you get to where you are today. Whatever you do today is gonna help you get where you are. And that's why I really believe, man, no matter what's going on in life, man, nothing can take you one second at a time. One second at a time. The fact that I was able to take a breath. That's that's huge. And the fact that we're able to do that right now, this moment, is, is, we can't take that for granted. We have to understand that we need to be appreciative of, of where we are today and what we can do now. Because of Bye, the, you know, that's that's. That's just real, man. It's real, man. Hell yeah, man. I love the direction this conversation is going, you know. <laughs> it's like, I'm actually just, I'm learning more about you, and it's not really about the interview. It's just, like, I'm going to know you, man. Like, we should have FaceTimed so much sooner, to be honest. Like, <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. That's, that's kind of it. All right, and this is my final question for you, man. Oh, man. Um, you know, what is some advice... For anyone trying to be an entrepreneur, a business owner, they're trying to escape the nine to five. What is some advice for them? You know, I, I'll say it like this. One of my mentors once told me, you know, all you have to do is do right once. All you have to do is do right once. Think about it. That's all you have to do. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go through a lot of ups and downs, but it only takes one time for it to be that right situation, for it to change your whole life. You know, um, and, and you know, man, you got me thinking. <laughs> And so this is what we do, man. This is what these podcasts do. You know? One more time, man. Question one more time. The question, man, is what is any advice for someone trying to escape the nine to five? You know what, man? You know what? That's a great question, Adrian. But you need the nine to five, man. You you need you need that you need structure. You need that you need that foundation. Because okay. that foundation um, is where you, you realize what, what you like, what, what you don't like, what, what works for you, and what doesn't work for you. So, but if you've never done that, you the best thing I can say is, <laughs> you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to pay attention to what, what your gifts are. Everybody has gifts, man. And if you have to truly be in tune of what you can do, if you're an artist, if you're a graphic designer, if you're, you know, if you're a, an actor or an activist, or if you like singing in the shower, you know, whatever the case is, man, you know, in this time and day, in the like we talked before, man, there's so much opportunity for you to do what you want to do. You know, all you have to do is just. Go do it. So what Let's I, go out there and hustle. So yeah, so what all I would really say is is that find that passion and what you love doing. If it's if it's helping people, if it's if it's doing service for the community, 
uh, if it's doing, you know, service for an organization, you know, giving is one of the things. If you put yourself in a giving uh, situation where you're doing something for others, you'll find your purpose. I love that. You know, that kind of reminded me of like that Bible quote where you will always have a job if you are in service of others. If you always have that mentality of being in service of others, you will always have value and you will always have something to do that will keep you going. So, Amen, man. I, that, I agree. You know, if you don't know what you want to do, help somebody else. I love that. They'll, they'll tell you. It, it'll show. Definitely, man. I mean, that's pretty much all my questions. I mean, do you have any questions for me or anything you want to talk about before we, you know, end this first live session? You know what, man? I mean, we touched them so much, man, that I, I just think the, the opportunity and the ability for us to do what we, we're doing right now, um, I think is, a, is, a, is enough already, you know? Um, but I, I would first just want to say, you know, can continue to do what you're doing Adrian, you know, make the right moves, you know, um, and, 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 and hustle, man, hustle that team. You know? Let's talk more hustle. You're changing people's lives, man. And I'm trying, man. Right now, man. Well, stay tuned, you know, I guess. If that's what we're going to do. <laughs> yep. So I guess we're going to end this little podcast or whatever, this video session. But uh, yeah, man, Lee, I just want to thank you for, you know, giving me this idea. You're like, hey, Adrian, I think you should start a podcast. And I was like, let's just do it. Let's do, let's do, it, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it right now. Like, that's what I'm about. Like, I'm getting in the habit of doing things right away because the minute you put it off, it'll be tomorrow. Then it'll be another tomorrow. So I always like to knock it out as soon as possible. And I, in, in my day, I always try to think, what is the, what is something that's going to move me forward tomorrow? You know? So. Until next time, man. You know, again, uh, you know, check us out on, uh, on the internet, man. Check us out at yep. .com. That's com. That on the social media platforms and uh, to our community on both sides, on your side and our side, man. You know, I just be, you know, really appreciate you. I mean, thank you for, thank you for the support, you know, supporting us and what you're doing. And um, if there's ever anyone out there, out there that, that is interested, you know, you know, anything that that we can help you on, you know, research us, and, you, know, find us. you know, you can find us on the social platform, you know, contact us anyway, you know, and uh, we're here to support you, you know Definitely. Yep. Likewise, guys, if you guys ever have any questions about business or anything, you know, feel free to just reach out to us, you know, we're not, we're not millionaires right now, but, you know, that's not that's not important what's important is we're doing what we love and, and we're trying to spread that positivity and just push the human race forward you know um, that's that's really big but yeah guys we're going to end this right now and uh, i just want to thank you thank you lee if you guys want to check him out it's eat dash right eat e yep e dash s so it's Yep. Thank you guys for supporting us. You know, we wouldn't be where we are today without you guys. Yes, At the end of the day, the reason I do this is because it allows, the reason I love my business is because it allows me to connect with so many different people that I normally wouldn't have that opportunity. You know, I wouldn't have met Lee if I didn't do this. I wouldn't have met you guys by serving my cups of tea. You know, everyone has their thing. There's barbers, there's there's doctors, there's everyone has like a thing they do and it just makes life interesting. And there's a so, room for everybody. Definitely. Everybody can eat. Everybody. Everybody can eat. Everybody eats. <laughs> yep. That's it, man. But yeah, we just have a baby girl, Nadia, she just joined. Uh, we're actually about to end this. You can see this whole live on my story. So Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna baby girl. Not yeah, even. thank you for joining, though. And uh, all right, thank man, you. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right, man. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. See you on the ne on the flip side. All righty, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Yeah, good luck. Take care. Peace.